top six best 1,440 gaming monitors in every price range in 2023. Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best 1,440 gaming monitors in every price range and market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Asus ROG Swift OLED B27 Actum. The best 1440 monitor for gaming that we've tested is the ASUS ROG Swift OLED PG27 8QBN. It's a high-end 27-inch monitor with an OLED panel that combines fantastic gaming performance and exceptional picture quality. It has a 240Hz refresh rate that's ideal for competitive gaming and has freezing variable refresh rate, VRR support, and g C compatibility to reduce screen tearing. Besides that, it has a near instantaneous response time with any refresh rate for smooth motion. While it has low input lag for a responsive feel, you need to update it to the latest firmware to get the best performance as the input lag is higher on its original firmware. However, if you want something with low input lag and fewer bugs out of the box, the LG 27GR95 KEP offers that, but it doesn't get as bright and has more overshoot than the ASUS. Both monitors use the same OLED panel with a near infinite contrast ratio and perfect black uniformity, making them fantastic for dark room gaming as you'll see deep and inky blacks. Unfortunately, OLEDs have the risk of permanent burn-in with constant exposure to the same static elements over time, but this isn't so much a concern if you play different games. Number 5. Asus ROG Swift P279 QM. If you're concerned about the risk of permanent burn-in on OLEDs or want something cheaper, check out the ASUS ROG Swift PG 279 QN. While it has a 27-inch screen and 240Hz refresh rate like the ASUS ROG Swift OLED PG 27 AQBN, it's a step down in picture quality because it doesn't have an OLED panel. This means it can't display the same perfect blacks as the PG 27 AQDM and is a worse choice for darkroom gaming. However, it's the better choice if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and want to take full advantage of it as it has native g C support, offering features that you can only use with NVIDIA graphics cards like reflex latency analyzer and variable overdrive. Besides those extra perks, it's impressive for gaming as it has an excellent response time across its entire refresh rate range and lower input lag than the PG27 AQBM. Despite not performing well in dark rooms, it's a good choice if you want to use it in a room with a few lights around, as it gets bright enough to fight glare and has good reflection handling. The ASUS ROG Swift PG 279QM is a high-end gaming monitor and the true successor to the extremely popular, but dated ASUS ROG Swift PG 279Q and the revised version, the ASUS ROG Swift PG 279QZ. It's designed mainly for gaming, with an extremely fast refresh that delivers incredibly clear motion and low input lag. It has native support for NVIDIA's GCLNC variable refresh rate technology, and it's one of the only 240Hz monitors on the market that supports NVIDIA's Reflex latency analyzer technology. It's a very versatile monitor, with one of the widest color gamuts we've ever seen on a monitor, and it has superb gradient handling. It also has a wider selection of inputs than most similar displays on the market, including three HDMI 2.0 ports. Sadly, those inputs are limited to HDMI 2.0 bandwidth, and the stand is a bit less versatile than most ASUS gaming monitors with a much shorter height adjustment. Number 4. Dell Alleyware a 2723 dia If you still find the ASUS ROG Swift PG 279QM too out of your price range, or you don't need something with native Keysol NC support, check out the Dell Alleyware a 2723 DF. It doesn't have g cell and CDRR support like the ASUS, so you lose access to a few features that you would get with an NVIDIA graphics card on the ASUS. It still has gaming features like different crosshairs to give you a competitive advantage as your game's anti-cheat tool won't detect it. It's also g cell and NC compatible, reducing screen tearing with an NVIDIA graphics card, and also supports freezing. Besides the differences in VR formats, it's still an excellent gaming monitor with a native 240Hz refresh rate that you can overclock to 280Hz. 
It provides a smooth gaming experience with a very fast response time across its entire refresh rate range as there's minimal blur trail with fast moving objects. If you still find this monitor a bit out of your price range, consider the cheaper Kinobyte M27QX, but it can sometimes be harder to find. Number three, LG 27 GP 815. If you want something cheaper but aren't necessarily looking for a budget monitor, the LG 27 GP 850B is a good alternative in the lower mid-range price category. As you go down in price, there are a few sacrifices you need to make, and in this case, the LG has a lower 180Hz max refresh rate compared to the 280Hz refresh rate on the Dell Alienware A 2723DF. This means it isn't as good of a choice if you're a competitive gamer who needs the highest refresh rate, but it's good enough for casual gamers. Luckily, motion handling is incredible, as it has a fantastic response time across its entire refresh rate range. This monitor is also available as the 27GP83BB at different retailers, but only the 27GP850 model has a backlight strobing feature to reduce persistence blur. However, you'll be happy with either variant if you don't think you'll use the feature. The first true replacement to the very popular LG 27GL850B, it delivers an excellent gaming experience. It has outstanding low input lag and a great selection of gaming features, including black frame insertion, BFI, and it supports both AMD freezing and NVIDIA GSONC variable refresh rate technologies, VR. Motion is incredibly clear and smooth, with very little blur behind fast moving objects and no overshoot in the normal overdrive mode. It has great peak brightness in SDR and good reflection handling, so glare shouldn't be an issue. It delivers fantastic colors in SDR, and it has remarkable gradient handling. Unfortunately, it has a low contrast ratio, disappointing black uniformity, and no local dimming feature, so it's not a good choice for a darker environment. Number 2. Gamabyte M27QP If you're looking for the best 1440 gaming monitor on a budget, check out the Gamabyte M27QP. It's similar to the LG 27 GP 850, but has a slightly lower 170 Hz refresh rate and worse motion handling. Luckily, it offers an impressive gaming experience as the response time is still fast enough for gaming, and it also has a backlight strobing feature that works simultaneously as VRR. Unlike the LG, it supports freezing to reduce screen tearing, and its G Cell NC compatibility is also great if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. The Gigabyte has a few extra gaming features that the LG doesn't have, like a dashboard that shows vital information from your PC. It also has a virtual crosshair that gives you a competitive advantage in FPS games, as your game's anti-cheat tool won't detect it. This monitor is a newer version of the popular Gigabyte M27Q, which is available in two different versions with different panels, so it's better to go for the M27QP if you want to know what you'll get. If you want something cheaper, consider the Dell G2724D, which is still excellent for gaming but has fewer features and is harder to find at most retailers. Number 1. HP Omen 32 HP's refresh of its Omen gaming monitor line is not limited to deluxe 4K displays like the Omen 27K. It runs the gamut of sizes, resolutions, and price ranges, which leads us to the $399.99 HP Omen 32Q, a relatively simple 31.5-inch QHD. 2560 by 1440 pixel monitor that doesn't do much out of the ordinary, but rocks a respectable 165 hertz refresh rate, good brightness and ATR measurements, and surprisingly solid color accuracy. At its price, discounted to $309.99 at this writing, it's a great choice for price conscious PC desktop players and console gamers to favor performance over raw visuals. The Omen 32 key shares the same clean, basic look as the Omen 27, including an all-black body, a square stand, and an Omen logo on the bottom bezel. The 32 also has the same diamond decoration on its back, though it has been stripped of RGB lighting as well as the OSD control stick and a few shortcut buttons on the lower right. While we're behind the monitor, let's talk ports. This Omen is surprisingly sparse, equipped with just two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display port, and a headphone jack. The lack of an HDMI 2.1 port does smart a bit, especially if you were hoping to tap into high frame rates with an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, but few games support that feature anyway. Also missing is the USB Type-C port that acts as another display port on the Omen 27K, nor will you find additional USB ports and speakers. 
This is the top six best 1,440 gaming monitors in every price range in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.